Hi everybody. Once again, I humbly apologize for not keeping a decent schedule. Alright, Saturday, August 22nd. Look, I've been in the hammock drinking all day, so I may be a little blotto, so I apologize if I say anything uncouth. Alright, so what we're doing here is we're mounting the G we're mounting some of the um, G3X components to the trays that I made behind the displays. And these things these things rock. That's the Garmin engine analyzer. GA24 box, bolting it down with uh, some AN3 bolts and uh, nylock washers. Very easy system. You can see how easy it is just to, you know, you know, I feel like taking this box out and moving it. Great. Just drill some more holes. Oh, you, you the shelf that you made has too many holes in it? Replace it. It's just a square rectangular piece of aluminum with two bent edges and some nut plates put on. Easy peasy. You can make one of those in an hour. Okay. And that's one of the reasons I love that system, because I don't have to worry about just continuously drilling holes in my sub-panel going, you know what, I just don't quite like the way this looks. Let's just try it in another position. Next thing you know, your sub-panel Swiss cheese. Right? Permanent holes. Think about that. My wife does. Look, I, I've been... I, everything on this wall is put up with uh, 3M double-sided sticky tape. I'm not allowed to put a hole in the wall. Alright, so for the rest of the video, uh, we're working on the wiring for the tail cone, like the official G3X wiring. So we've got a couple of servos. I've got an extra autopilot servo. Uh, I had originally bought one for the roll, and then I bought another one, but then I realized I needed the pitch and the yaw servos all at once, so I stole the yaw uh, roll one. I may have mentioned this before. And so we're going to be working in the back of that, and I need one to replace the wire. So there's two kits for the RV14 that you buy for the autopilot servos. There's one that has the pitch and the roll, and then there's one specifically for the yaw. Right, and on top of that, you also have to find that damned Garmin arm, damn thing, which I will, yeah, I'll, I'll, you know what? There's a rant about that in a minute. So the wiring does come with the kit. It goes between the cargo bay and where the pitch and yaw servos live, right where the push rod connects to go to the back of the tail cone to connect to the elevator horn. Aren't you amazed that I actually know all the names of the of the parts of my plane? And that's where that gets actuated. Okay, great, all that. Uh, like I said, it comes with wiring, and it's pretty damn good, but it's just not as good as I would like it. Uh, they ground everything locally. I... You know, I'm, I've been told, I've been hit over the head with a hammer a thousand times. You do not want any static. Everything must have a return. So, there's a return. We've got those. Okay, let's see. What was the other thing? Oh, yeah, yeah, So, the original kit wiring also uh, passes the power as one unit as well. So I wanted to have separate power for both the yaw and the pitch, so I've also done that. That's So that's the reason I'm remaking all of this. Plus, the gigantic Molex connectors they have, it's impossible to get those female uh, pins out, so it's just easier to remake my own, right? Okay, it's time for a small rant against the man. You're about to see the yaw servo, so here's the thing about the damned arm. Picture of it here. All right, that goes over, and you can see it attached to one of the servos. So what that damn thing does is that attaches to the yaw servo. What do you need that for, you say? Well, so the way that the yaw dampener works is that that servo has two cables that are connected directly to the rudder cables, and it pushes and pushes or it pulls them back and forth based upon whether or not you need a little left or right rudder. All right, simple enough. That arm is made by Garmin. I'll say that one again. That arm was made by Garmin. Not by Vans, by Garmin. So guess who you have to buy it through? No, can't buy it from Garmin. They don't sell it. You have to buy it from a distributor. So you can get it from Stein. You can get it from Spruce. you got to call Spruce and specifically ask for it. Because the only kit that that comes with through Spruce is for the RV-10. It's 550 bucks because see, you get the yaw kit for the tin through Spruce, not through Vans. All right. 
cussless rant over. So yeah, basically I, I had to, it took me two extra weeks. I was about to build that thing by myself. I wasn't going to, it's made out of steel, uh, and I'm glad I didn't. But the, the idea behind the hoop is that, God forbid if one of the rudder cables breaks, that hoop keeps it from getting tangled up in the gearing, because that could cause some real damage. All right, here's the work area I've talked about, where everything is going. Uh, in the next video, uh, we will actually get to work back here. So thanks for joining me, everyone. Have a good weekend. See you soon.